In our health cast today, the guidelines regarding daily use of low-dose aspirin are changing. We've been talking about this all week. After years of recommending that middle-aged and older Americans consider taking a low-dose aspirin to prevent a first heart attack every day or a stroke, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force now says the risks may greatly reduce or even cancel out any benefit. We're thinking that the benefit of low-dose aspirin is low and the risk is higher because of bleeding. So therefore, people without heart disease, just for prevention, are no longer recommended to be taking a baby aspirin a day. Aventura cardiologist Dr. Leonard Planko that says the new recommendation does not include people who have had a previous heart attack or a stroke and are taking daily aspirin to prevent another one. An, another recent survey finds that almost half of all breast cancer patients use cannabis. Patients report using the drug to relieve the side effects associated with treatment, things like pain, anxiety, nausea, insomnia. 75% said it was extremely or very helpful in alleviating their symptoms. And regarding the safety, 74% of medical cannabis users said they felt the benefits outweighed any risk. There are no human studies, though, showing potential clinical implications of cannabis use during breast cancer treatment.